As reported by the Khmer Times, Cambodia has sent 14 armored vehicles and five containers with refueling systems and equipment for the Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD, Squadron for the MINUSMA, the UN mission in the Republic of Mali. The ceremony was held on June 6, in the presence of Ouch Borith, Deputy Prime Minister, and Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the Multinational Peacekeeping Forces Training School in Phnom Sruop District, Kampong Spiu Province. Borith stated that the vehicles and the containers will be delivered to the Sihanoukville International Port, and will then be shipped to Mali on June 8. The arrival is scheduled for mid-August 2023. General Sem Savani, first vice chairman of the National Committee and director general of the National Peacekeeping Center, said that four of the 14 armored vehicles were fully equipped ambulances, and the other 10 armored vehicles are APCs, a badly needed asset because insurgents frequently set up roadside mines, ambushes, and improvised explosive devices. So far, the Cambodian contribution to the Mali mission consists of an EOD unit and an airport engineering detachment. Kozal Melinda, NPMEC, National Center for Peacekeeping Forces, Mines and Explosive Remnants of War Clearance, spokeswoman, told the Phnom Penh Post on June 6 that the armored vehicles and additional equipment were requested by the UN, in order to protect the Cambodian peacekeepers. At present 144 Cambodians are serving in Mali, she said, adding that at present, Mali was one of the highest risk areas the Kingdom's Blue Helmets are operating in, and had seen an increase in the use of IEDs. This is why the UN requested that we provide additional protection to our troops, she said. The Phnom Penh Post reports that, also on June 6, the French Foreign Ministry's Mission de Cooperation de Defense MCD, which focuses on international defense cooperation, is running an advanced training course for Cambodia's Blue Helmet peacekeeping troops to make them ready for future missions. The training came a day after a meeting between Christophe Roussel, a French judicial police training official and Sem Savani, on June 5. Mahindra MPVI The Mahindra MPVI is powered by a ruggedized 230 HP diesel engine, paired with a 6x6 transmission. It combines excellent ballistic and mine protection, with a top and side protection of center level B6, and blast protection up to Stanag level 4A. The ballistic protection capabilities of the Mahindra MPVI are designed to ensure the safety of its occupants in hostile environments. At the top, the Mahindra MPVI is built to endure the impact of 7.62 by 51 mm ball, 5.56 by 45 mm, and 7.62 by 39 mm ammunition. It can withstand these direct hits from a distance of 10 meters, even when the attack occurs at a 90 degrees angle. Its side mine protection is capable of withstanding the explosion of an improvised explosive device IED, containing at least 10 kg of TNT. This protection is effective when the IED detonates at a distance of 5 meters and at a height of 1.5 meters from the ground. The vehicle's bottom undercarriage is fortified against landmine blasts. It can withstand a minimum of 14 kilograms of TNT or its equivalent under the hull of the vehicle. Additionally, the undertire area is protected against a minimum of 21 kilograms of TNT or its equivalent. To verify the effectiveness of these protection measures, the Mahindra MPVI underwent a landmine certification test conducted by BAE Land Systems OMC. The results confirmed that the vehicle's structure provides adequate protection to the occupants against 14 kg of TNT explosives beneath the hull, and 21 kg of TNT explosives beneath the rear wheel of the vehicle. Moreover, the Mahindra MPVI offers comprehensive protection from all sides. It can withstand direct hits from 7.62 by 51 mm ball, 5.56 by 45 mm, and 7.62 by 39 mm ammunition, even from a distance of 10 meters and at a 90 degrees angle of attack. This all-around protection enhances the safety and security of the vehicle's occupants in hostile environments. The United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, MINUSMA, was established by Security Council Resolution 2100 of 25 April, 2013 to support political processes in that country and carry out a number of security-related tasks. The mission was asked to support the transitional authorities of Mali in the stabilization of the country and implementation of the transitional roadmap. By unanimously adopting Resolution 2164 of 25 June 2014, the Council further decided that the mission should focus on duties, such as ensuring security, 
stabilization, and protection of civilians, supporting national political dialogue and reconciliation, and assisting the re-establishment of state authority, the rebuilding of the security sector, and the promotion and protection of human rights in that country.